All right, welcome back family. So today we're gonna to talk about what is Cardano, ADA explained. So Cardano has really been pumping in the market. I mean, last week it was something around 26 cents and now it's already at 36, 37 cents. So take a look out for this coin because it is one of the two coins, the other being Polkadot that are being dubbed as the ETH killer. We're gonna take a look at the coin market cap to see which coins are stacking up. And it really looks like Polkadot is really up there because XRP has lost its ground due to the lawsuit and Cardano is also getting up there these two coins are really ramping it up in addition it looks like right now there's a slowdown in btc purchases and eth actually for eth in the market right now there's a short supply of eth in the exchanges that means what does that mean that means that price is going to go up and if prices go up people will start looking at options other options other alternatives and the other alternatives are polka dot and cardano which is probably why the price has been going up as well so as usual before you invest please read the white paper of the coins that you're investing in because that's just proper due diligence but if you're not going to read the white paper at least watch this video i encourage you to watch this entire video because i read the white paper for you actually i recommend don't read the white paper just read the website because the white paper was a bunch of philosophical and kind of technical stuff that even i as a software engineer didn't want to read well it was interesting but i've compiled everything that you needed to know from that white paper and the website into this one video so you can really just focus on the things you need to focus on so what you need to focus on is the innovation and the use cases of cardano and that's what we're going to focus on in today's video so that's why i encourage you to watch this entire video but before we watch this video i encourage you to hit the like button and subscribe and now let's get into the video all right let's just jump right into it let's talk about the innovation of cardano some of the innovations include using smart contracts these smart contracts will allow the terms of conditions of commercial relationships to be controlled and this is expected to come out in q1 2021 the idea is that if all assets are digital then we can have strong guarantees of fraud free commerce which can be gained another innovation is that cardano will allow for a global reputation system which means that it allows for lower cost regulated activities to be conducted so think of it as background checks if we do a million of them or multiple millions of them then that's going to cost a lot of money but if you have a global reputation system then you could just look it up in the system it doesn't cost that much so cardano like eth will leverage smart contracts and allow others to build decentralized applications on its foundation the goal is to allow business experts with no previous technical knowledge to create smart contracts on the cardano network and cardano's marlo is pioneering technology that allows anyone to build financial smart contracts without deep programming programming skills. And guys, this is game changing because escrow companies are going to go out of business with smart contracts. Cardano will also add multi-currency ledgers and this allow users to create their own tokens on Cardano. And this is much like how XLM or Stellar allow businesses and users to create their own currencies or tokens on their network. I'm just going to take you guys through a quick look on Cardano on CoinMarketCap. Look at the price. It is 37 cents right now and it is ranked on the sixth place. They have a maximum supply of 45 billion which is great because having a max supply means that this will get more valuable as long as it's used more and more and more if we look in coin market cap you can see that polka dot is number four xrp is number five they dropped from number three and cardano is on its tail and just want to show you guys marlo playground which is going to allow people without programming skills to create smart contracts or financial smart contracts whatever they want i haven't played with it yet but they already have this out for you to play with if you want to play with it another thing is that cardano runs the fraction of the power costs of the equivalent proof of work blockchain so think like bitcoin so it uses electricity of a single house as compared to that of a small country and like polka dot it looks like cardano will have the use of side chains which works similarly to what polka dot has for parachains that means that instead of one chain having to do all the work they can offload the work to multiple side chains to increase the capacity of the network so eth is known to have scalability issues and side chains and parachains are just a way to solve those scalability issues and if you are confused about what side chains and pair chains are then let me explain it to you this way if you are driving down the road and down the highway there is only one lane and 40,000 cars is that going to be quicker than having six lanes and 40,000 cars no it's going to take longer because you only have one lane but having side chains and pair chains means that you just have an increase of more highways so less congestion which means you're going to scale much better so from the looks of it cardano really combines the use cases of ethereum polka dot v chain and stellar all rolled into one and its own proof of stake protocol is called the 
Ouroboros. And what it does, it elects a trusted set of nodes to maintain the ledger for a specific time period. The Cardano Foundation is the final auditor where they check over the code and the protocol's validity. And it's said in the white paper that they will report to the Cardano community in a quarterly basis. All right, now let's talk about use cases. So a lot of these use cases are based on IOHK's technology and IOHK is a leading blockchain research and engineering company focused on building decentralized technology solutions. So let's talk about education and credential verification. So right now, schools are very centralized with how they issue certifications. If you lose your certification or your degree or your paper, then you have to go back to your school and go through tedious back and forth with the institution to get issued a new one. So it'll be a big problem if that school doesn't really exist anymore because right now sharing credentials and academic achievements are all in physical form. So it makes it really hard to share when needed. And you can't really count on LinkedIn because that is a social networking website and you can really put anything on there. But with IOHK's credential technology and their pioneering Alta Prism technology that is built on the Cardano blockchain, they can use that to secure your credentials and achievements on the blockchain and that is tamper proof. The institutions can verify those credentials and you can use those to prove your achievements to your employers and etc. Well, the second use case is retail with product counterfeiting. So Counterfeiting goods gave a $300 billion hit on the global economy in 2018, and it's only increasing. Fake products would lead to substantial financial loss, you know, damage to brands, and the loss of consumer confidence. And a lot of fakes are sold online. IOHK has this thing called the ITIL scan that uses blockchain technology to establish authenticity. So basically what this does is just makes the product traceable from its origin to its delivery. So this is gonna be great for things like baby formula because I remember some years ago, China had this issue where baby formula was sold on the market from China and it was fake, which led to a lot of deaths, baby deaths. And a lot of parents stopped buying baby formula from China and they started importing baby formula from other countries because they couldn't trust the origins of that baby formula. So solving those kind of problems is what Attila Scan does. So product tracking is also available in VeChain with QR codes. This is why I mentioned that, that Cardano has VeChain rolled into it. So this also helps with supply chain tracking within agriculture. Lives also depend on supply chains like agriculture. Farmers and retailers can use blockchain technology for product certification and traceability from farm to table. Again, VeChain has kind of the same thing with logistics. And the whole idea is to more granularly track logistics where everything has gone from the production of the product to the delivery of the product. From shipping, storing, temperature reading, that data is all collected and people can use that data. So it will be more cost efficient and effective for the entire industry. So the big lookout here is whether Amazon or Walmart is going to adopt this technology because they are the biggest player in the supply chain space. And last I read, Walmart has already been testing VeChain for this kind of supply chain logistics in China. And then we have government, you know, like digital identity. It's the same issue with universities. You have important documents that remain with the issuer. For travelers, the worst fear is just losing your passport because you'll probably have to go to the embassy. You have to pay a big fee. You have to wait for a long time in order to get your passport sent there so you can go home. So that's super stressful. And let's say you're in a country that's plagued by corruption. You'll have to find out who to bribe, who to pay in order to get out of the country. So that's even worse. So the technology that Cardano provides will make it so that you can share, access, and instantly verify your credentials anytime, anywhere. So it'll be years before government will actually adopt this kind of technology, but when it does, then Cardano will be a necessity. And you want to invest in necessities like food, water, and energy because you're always going to need them. And we have the same situation with finance and onboarding. Onboarding takes a lot of time. Opening bank accounts, passport verifications, and credit card applications, that all takes a lot of time. Days or weeks, depending on where you're from. Sometimes it even might take a bribe. And that makes sense because they need to do verification. If you try to open a credit card with Amex, with Wells Fargo, and with Chase, what happens now? They will all go to a third party like Equifax, TransUnion, and the same credit bureaus to verify you. And instead of doing it three times, I believe that Attila Prism make it so that you just just do it once. But when applying for multiple credit cards, do it all at the same day in the same time. Because if you do it with separate days, then you actually get hit three times on your credit score. So if Attila Prism can make it so my credit score is only hit once, regardless of when I do credit card applications, that's going to be a game changer. And here's a little short story. I remember that I had a friend from Uzbekistan and I drove her to the airport so she could go back to her country in order to renew her passport. And I asked her, how long did it usually take? And she said that, oh, it'll take a couple weeks to several months in order to renew her passports. But if she just bribed someone, it'll take like a day. So that's what we're we're dealing with with identity verification. So we have the same thing with healthcare and counterfeit medicine. There's a big risk to public health and financial loss with regards to manufacturers, governments, and individuals. Online pharma lacks strict controls and regulations in many cases. 
The World Health Organization, the WHO, estimates that more than 50% of medications sold online can be categorized as fake or substandard. That means you'll get better medicine from the dude named Joe in the street corner. So we have the same situation as the situation with the baby formula. With the Telescan, you can authenticate and verify the origins and do supply chain tracking of pharmaceutical products so you make sure, you can make sure, that what you're getting is a genuine product. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you learned a lot about Cardano, the innovation and the use cases. Like I said, you don't really need to read the white paper because I read it for you and distilled everything that you needed into this video. But I do suggest reading it if you have time, you know, if you're sitting in the toilet. Other than that, if you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and check out these other videos that you gotta know about on coins you gotta invest in and passive income. All right, guys, I'll see you guys again next time.